Let's just like have a moment to admire my nails. I'm struggling a bit. Hey girl. Good morning. It's Monday, August 23rd. It's the first day of classes and I'm, got, I'm about to go grocery shopping because I was going to do it yesterday, but I really didn't feel like getting out of the house after church. I just wanted to stay inside all day. So I'm just going to go today. It's 8 a.m. I'm going to make my coffee and then I'm just going to go ahead and go to Walmart. I'm not a big fan of Walmart, to be honest. Oh, good morning, Bonita. Hey, girl. Only because... It's just always packed. Every time I go to Walmart, it's just like, it's an experience. It's like, it's never the best. So let's do it. I need to add water. Yes, mama. Yes, groceries. Okay, it is 12.08 p.m. I am on my way to class. I'm gonna just pack my lunch really quick. Yes. takes about 15 minutes to get to the university. So I like to just plan out everything to make sure I am on time. So this is my schedule for the week. It's Monday, August 23rd. Uh, my first class is at 5.30. And all these no titled events are patients that I'm still treating at the clinic back in Florida. And I, put, I had to take their name out because of HIPAA. But yeah, those are how many people I'm seeing. It's not going to be much because I actually can see there's a lot of meetings. These are the meetings that I was talking about earlier. Just getting trained for our clinicals. The blue is speech sound disorders, another class. I'm really looking forward to this class, aphasia. I'm excited. Then our last class is clinic and speech language disorders as well. And then on Saturday, I have a shot of vodka pedicure. Let's just like have a moment to admire my nails. I wanted to get one last summer nail theme before fall. This is the first week though. Obviously it's gonna be more of a syllabus week, just like ease into the wave of stress for these next two years. I'm very excited y'all. Like I'm nervous, I am, but I'm just excited. I really am. I really want to record in the classroom just so you guys can get to see what it looks like. But I feel kind of shy. I don't know. Just people are going to be like, why are you recording? I don't know. I do my best. I, I'll try. I'll try. It's just really difficult to actually like... You know, in the moment when you're in the classroom, like that's like the last thing you're thinking about. Like, oh my God, let me vlog this. Like you're just trying to focus. So I'm going to try my best to do it before classes. If I don't get to do it, I'm sorry, y'all. Let's go. Guess what, y'all? I forgot to record. I I need to get better at that. I really do. I'm really trying. So just be patient with me. I like vlogging. I really do. I just, I literally just forget to do it. Maybe I forget that I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling a little sleepy. I, I drink like one third of my coffee. I always forget to drink it because I always just get busy and forget that I'm tired because I'm just so focused on what I need to do. And then when I have some downtime, like right now, I remember, oh my God, I'm actually tired. <laughs> so I need to drink my coffee better. I need to get like, I'm just working on a routine. I'm, I'm doing my best, but okay, let's do it. Let's get our crap done.
Hey, it's Thursday. Um, I had a meeting in the morning, same thing as yesterday. It was about accent modification. So it was very interesting. And we talked a little bit how it's a, it's a bit of a controversial topic because it's not that speech pathologists are changing the way that their culture is, but in a way some people do kind of perceive it as that. Saying that it's in a way you're taking away the culture. Like if Asian Americans want to speak with an accent and that, then that's their choice. But there was this one man who had a very big Spanish accent from what the professor was telling us. And he was uh, interviewing for a promotion, for a job promotion. And he got it, but he was, the reason why he was a little bit nervous about it is because he felt like his accent was kind of holding him back. So that's where that controversy comes in, where if you do sound different than most other Americans, you know, uh, than the standard American, then you are deemed a, as less, you have less potential, which is not true, but that's kind of how the con, that's why it's controversial. But um, anyways, it was very interesting. I'm going to the gym after because I need to work out. Hi, I'm struggling a bit emotionally and mentally. It has nothing to do with grad school. <laughs> it just started. <laughs> um, just like personal stuff. And I'm, I have to complete this form. It's like a clinic handbook. So paperwork to ensure that the clinicians know the procedures if we have any questions about working in the clinic so pretty pretty straightforward but it's just it's like when you're emotionally or mentally not there you're just your focus is lacking and i'm just struggling a little bit i miss my mom a lot i miss my family it's not even the end of the first week of school and i'm struggling I got this tattoo, and I'm bringing this up because this is what it means to me. It's the creation hands one. And the reason I got that is it means a, it has a variety of meanings to me. One, it looks super dope. But two, it reminds me the creation of Adam. There was a purpose that the Lord created Adam. And I'm reminded each time I see it is that the Lord has a purpose within me. So I'm really looking at it a lot to just remind myself to push forward um, even in times of struggles like right now. I don't think I openly had said this on my channel but I was doing therapy for a little bit because I was struggling a lot in November of last year, so about a year ago. Um, there was just a lot of waves of sadness. I wasn't really sure why. And it's very difficult when I feel this to concentrate, to feel motivated, to feel like getting out of bed was really, really big struggle. And those that have undergone or are going through this is hard. It comes in waves. Um, there are maybe months where it's like, I only have it twice a month or maybe once a month or twice a week. So it just really, really depends. And a lot of the times how I cope with it was by going to the gym or spending time with uh, my friends. So it's a struggle. Um, the enemy really plays with my mind a lot and he knows that's my biggest weakness, but I also know that's where I've been able to overcome a lot of the struggles that I've been going through um, with this situation. I just miss my family a lot and I think it's just now hitting me. <laughs> I'm just a little sad and that's okay. I think it's okay to cry it out, it's okay to be sad, there's no shame in it but it really all boils down to how you cope with it and how you see things. Like if I'm going to pity myself for hours and days, ew, no. But I think it's okay to have a little bit of sadness. Um, I told one of my friends this that I actually schedule out my days of sadness like it's usually on a Friday or Saturday night where I cry um, not every week but like when I feel just overwhelmed you just want to cry and I just decide to put some Adele on and be sad and there's no particular reason but I think it's okay to just randomly cry because it's not a specific reason but it could be a buildup of a little random little random things right 
and that's just how I cope. And then I work out and then I wash my face, get all that sadness out of my eyeballs, those dry tears. And then I watch some funny videos like Impractical Jokers. I trust in the Lord. I know that the Lord created me with a purpose, like he created Adam with a purpose. So that's nothing that I doubt. It's just pushing through that I'm working on, so. Okay, so I just finished seeing a kiddo. She's doing really good in reading, much better than previous sessions, so it's a little bit of happiness today. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. Showers always just make me feel better. Um, and just look at some PowerPoints. I'm sorry I'm not as giddy as I really, as I usually am. It's just hard to fake it. I'm going to keep it very, very real on this channel. I'm. I always have, but I guess this is like another level to realness. <laughs> so there's an ant on my diploma. It reminds me to never stop, and never give up. Oh, this is my diploma, by the way. I don't think I ever shared that on my channel. Okay, hi. I took Friday off to decompress. Um, it's just a lot of like personal stuff in my life right now. <laughs> and I'm not good at faking things and I'm not going to so I really apologize for ending that vlog a week earlier or like two days earlier than expected. Um, it's just a lot. <laughs> a lot has happened. So anyways, I feel a little bit better today. I went to Home Goods and Target because I can't afford a therapist. I got some stuff for my cats and just like organization stuff which is... Uh, I love it's like literally a de-stressor and tonight I'm just gonna do like a spa night I have a face mask I bought something to decompress these eye bags because they are looking real rough and my nail broke look I was just showing them off like literally two days ago and they broke I was showering and I was getting my towel and you know that feeling when a nail just like breaks like when it's like breaking kind of like you're taking out the nail oh my god i felt them like i swear and i looked it up my like, my life <laughs> like literally <sighs> i was so upset i still am upset well, back to grad school i'm very excited i'm super excited i'm just a little bit nervous because i want to be able to handle everything so yeah this is my agenda i have to do circles because it really just relaxes me when i get stuff done the x's are things that i would wasn't able to finish this is stuff that i did today and this is stuff that i have tomorrow so that's the way i organize myself i also do google calendar yeah just really if i don't write it down i will yeah all right but i appreciate you guys coming along with this vlog, I re I'm really sorry that it's not like the best, the happiest, considering it's the first week of grad school. It wasn't as bubbly as anticipated, but you know, so there's gonna be weeks where it's hard. And this is just one of those weeks. So I just wanna go to church tomorrow and like forget <laughs> every, this whole week was just crap. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and yeah. Bye.